Bear your fucking cover, dickhead. Some fucking kid on the way here. He saw me with this and he taps his man and goes, Ma, Ma, look. She goes, What? Well, it's a YouTuber. Right? You are a We didn't get to record the podcast. We didn't get to report the cut the button. We didn't get to record the cut the We didn't get to record because the fucking setup was being stupid and shit, so we didn't record anything. Ross is being fucking autistic right now. Subscribe to Scopolio. Ah! I just went right down your ass crack there. <laughs> 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 Fucking creepy this kid is. No, why would they make him so fucking scary in this dark little corner? Like why? He's so fucking terrifying. <laughs> oh. Mannequins. <laughs> My boys. <laughs> Fucking get them. That's racist. Them thick bitches. So, what the Dublin say? Hi. Uh, Fucking hell, it's cold. We're on our way to see uh, Shape of Water. Shape of Water. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Wait a second, that's not pizza. Those are calzones! <laughs> I love calzones! We know! <laughs> What the f- I had no idea this fucking storm was even coming. I had no idea the snow would be this bad. I had no fucking clue. So like there's so much snow outside and tomorrow we're expected to be snowed in. Not only are we expecting to be snowed in, but apparently people are worried that their power is going to be cut out and that their pipes are going to explode and stuff. I'm worried about the power for cutting out because, you know, I have to do this, I have things to do online, and that's how I entertain myself. But also, this is my pet bearded dragon Charmander. Now, she needs her bulbs and her lights and her heat pad to stay alive. Well, not really. She can live without them. She can. She's survived before without them when power's cut out and everything, but... In these cold conditions, it just worries me. It just fucking worries me. But enough of the doom and gloom, I'm going to try and keep this as light-hearted as I possibly can. But as you saw, I went to see The Shape of Water with my friend Faye. I absolutely loved this movie. This seems like it's becoming a tradition in my vlogs already now. I do like a movie review about like two days in. <laughs> no, but really great movie. I absolutely loved it. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie. All year I've been waiting for like a movie like this to come out. One that I have been hyping up for myself since I found out about it and then was not disappointed by the time I saw it. Every single movie that I hype myself up for, I walk out being slightly disappointed. That's kind of my own fault for hyping myself up so much. No, but Ship of Water, I was really, really happy with it. I was really just happy walking out of that cinema. I cried a few times, Faye cried as well. I cried a few times, Faye cried as well. It's just a beautiful movie. Cinematography, acting, everybody is fucking amazing in this movie. Everyone gives an amazing performance. 
the guy who plays the roommate, uh, his name is escaping me right now. Loved his character, he was amazing. Sally Hawkins, fantastic. Not said, she didn't say a word in the movie, but she still gave an amazing performance just in her face and just fucking incredible. She needs to win something for this movie. Now, of course, I have to mention Michael Shannon because he's Michael fucking Shannon. He was fucking unreal. <laughs> there was quite a few moments in the movie where he was fucking terrifying. Like, even if he's just screaming at himself in a mirror, he is fucking scary. Then again, he has Michael Shannon being nuts and coming across as crazy. It was what he does best. He's a scary dude. He does scary well. No, but I really love the movie. And honestly, at the start of the movie, when they're like just doing the opening monologue, it's all CGI underwater and everything. If Guillermo del Toro did a Bioshock movie. Like, the way he's able to work with, like, creatures and characters and stuff, and, like, his visual style, his sort of grown-up fairy tales. Making things all mystical and magical and creepy and scary and amazing is what he's great at. I think, like, Guillermo del Toro is, like, everything that Tim Burton wishes he could be. This just made me love Guillermo del Toro more, Sally Hawkins more, Michael Shannon more, and Doug Jones more. And I really want to see a Bioshock movie done by Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Okay, so today is Sunday. I know I didn't record anything else for the rest of the week. Couldn't really, there was snow. I didn't really do anything. Right now I'm just cleaning up my room, I'm taking a break. I might show off a bit this week when it's all done up. But it's Sunday night, I need to upload this thing soon. Yeah, this week didn't go as planned. I had no idea that this storm was coming. I didn't know there was going to be three feet of snow. I didn't think that like all the roads would be closed and everything. I thought I would have been able to go out, get supplies, do up the cabin and everything. I didn't get a chance to, but this week, I promise, I will do something. Also, we made a video on Spudbuds reading our Wikia page that was made by one of my friends. Go check that out. You,